All right, I think it's time to talk about question of the day. So I get a lot of YouTube comments from people who have very basic questions about fighting games. And a recurring theme and a frequent question I've been asked is how often you should be in training mode. And then when they go a little bit deeper, actually what people are asking is how to get over not being able to do what you want to do in a match. How to regain your autonomous control. If I want to go in and I want anti-RDP, how do I get to the point where I can do that, right? I, I go in and I want to do my combo when I land an opening. How do I actually do that? Because the problem is people know on paper how to do something, but then they actually come time to do it in a match. They shit the bed and they can't pull it off, even though they know on one level what they should be doing. For instance, when I get a crush counter, I should do this combo, right? Finally, it happens in the match. They get the opportunity and then they, they drop it or they freeze up. And the question of how often should I be in training mode is really how do I get to the point where I'm able to have a strategy and execute it in a match? That's, I think, the true root of the question. Spending more time in training mode is just one way to potentially get there, right? To be honest, I think new players don't really understand how much how much effort or how much time you have to put in into simple motor functions in a fighting game to just have things instinctual. Have things instinctual. A great example of this type of thinking is demonstrated in a Core A gaming video. I think it's called Playing Fast and Slow. And this video talks about how there's two different systems of thinking. System one thinking is instantaneous, fast. You're not consciously thinking about it. It's like your subconscious brain just knows what to do. And then system two thinking is where you have to logically calculate something and think through it. And you have slower response time in what you're doing, but you're able to co uh, compute more complex problems and approach more complex problems with more complex solutions. So in fighting games, you have to have a lot of things down to your system one level thinking, which is if they jump, I press this button. That needs to be instantaneous. And that is, yes, a bit of training mode, yes, but that's also uh, just going into match matches and playing. But it's not just going into matches and playing, it's going into a match saying with my system two level thinking, if I see someone jump at this spacing, I'm going to press this button. So when I see someone jump at this spacing, I'm going to react with a button that I have already planned out. I already planned this out. So I'm going to the match. I know that if I see them at this spacing and they go into the air, I need to press this button. And for a while, this is going to be slow. It's going to be system two thinking where you have to like focus on this. And if you're distracted by too much going on, you're not going to be able to pull this off in a match. But the thing is, before going to the match, I made that commitment that I'm going to try to do this. And other parts of my game will suffer, yes, but eventually this will be trained into muscle memory and pattern recognition to the point where this becomes system one. I see this in my peripheral and my hands will automatically hover over this button and press it, right? It's instinctual. So when I'm playing a match, I played so often that when I'm at this range, I'm thinking EX dash punch, dash up. I'm thinking I'm going to react to those things. That's my system two. My system one just does this when they jump. I'm not even thinking about it anymore. So I had to go to training mode to figure out how to do the anti-air. But really what it was, was when I went into a match, I thought about applying this. I thought about applying this anti-air to the point where it became instinctual. So that's not training mode, but that is one means to get to that end. Now for other things, you can help speed that process up by being in training mode. For instance, um, I wanna punish Rog's dash punch. You know, I'm, I'm a lower level ranked player. I'm in bronze, I'm in silver, I'm in gold, and I'm playing ROG players and they're just spamming dash punch and I can't do nothing about it, right? Well, in training mode, I can figure out that at a certain spacing, I can do something about it. Obviously, if it's spaced perfectly, I can't punish. But in training mode, I practice to recognize the range where I can punish it, right? I just sit here and I go, oh, when it's this close, like I, this close there we go that's the spacing and i keep trying this and i go into training mode and i record it and i just practice the execution i just practice it maybe i get a little fancy with it you know what i mean but the thing is i have to do this enough to the point where the situation becomes muscle memory and i have to be able to react the new to the nuances of, of it because if i'm perfect spacing you know i can't punish this might you might not want to press the jab here and you especially don't want to mess up your punish at that range and do something dumb and unsafe, right? You don't want to like 
oh no, I messed up, right? Because you overcommitted to a punish that doesn't work. So I trained myself to recognize the animation when he goes deeper into your face with the fist right there, right? That's the spacing where you can punish it. And then you just practice, 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 practice the motor execution of it. So this type of training does utilize training mode. And I practice this stuff all the time. If I want to learn how to punish a move, I practice it over and over in training mode to the point where it becomes reflexive. If I see something blocked at this spacing, with this move at this timing, I know what punish I want to do and I know how to do it. That training comes from both matches and in training mode. You need to utilize training mode to try to replicate some things that you want to punish, combos you want to do when you get this opportunity so that it becomes pure muscle memory. But if you if you don't go into a match focusing on it, you're not going to be able to ever get to the point where you pull it off in a match. Uh, to me, I kind of describe three phases of learning to do something new. The first phase is when you realize you need to do something new. So the first phase for this is like, okay, I'm playing against a ball rock player. He's beating the shit out of me with dash punches. I'm losing to this move over and over. I need to figure out what to do about it. So the first phase is recognizing what you have to do or something you need to investigate how to deal with. That's phase number one, right? Because before this, you're just losing and you don't even know why. Now you've identified something to work on. Phase number one, right? I'm gonna work on punishing this move. I'm gonna work on dealing with this move. Phase number two, you find a solution to it or a punish or something, some kind of tactic to counter it, right? So now phase number two, I'm in training mode, okay? Oh, I realize if I block too, if he does it too close, it's actually super unsafe and I can get a fat ass punish and I can kill him for it. I can't, I, he can't spam this move on me anymore. I have an answer. I'm gonna counter his spamming strategy and punish him, right? That's phase number two. You, you figured out what you wanted to deal with and you found an answer to it in training mode. Now phase number three is you're gonna start trying to apply this in matches. You're gonna start applying this in matches and you're gonna fuck it up every time. You're gonna be like, oh shit, like is that one unsafe? Wait a minute, oh, I gotta look out for 30 different things. Oh no, he jumped at me while I was looking for a dash punch and I ate shit. And then, and then you're gonna be like, oh wait, that was it. I, I did the wrong punish, my hands weren't ready. I reflexively went to medium kick for some reason. Or I just straight up just uh, panicked and did this for no reason, and I don't even know why. Your brain is still trying to juggle too many variables, but you know what you should be doing, and you need to consciously tell yourself what you need to do. And that comes with going to matches and saying, hey, when he does this too close, I know what I need to do. When I mess it up, I point to that thing that just happened. I said, hey, you dummy, that was what we were practicing. I was practicing to punish that. You missed it right there. Look out for it next time and do better, right? I consciously tell myself these things. And then eventually, you get to the point where it finally happens in a match, and you go, oh shit, I did the thing that I couldn't do before. And now you just gotta keep doing that. Consistency. Eventually, a lot of these items just become like internalized and stored into your uh, your, your repertoire, your, your tool bag. Like, I have all of these things that I can do, and now I just took that tool it's in my bag i can pull it out whenever i need it you got it you know it you know it not just on an intellectual level but an instinctual level you know it not just on your system two thinking but on your system one thinking knowing stuff on system two thinking that's what you know that's what people who are uh backseat gamers do right oh you know just punish the move whatever anyone can say that anyone can look up the data and do that but you gotta be able to do it in a match and that takes training and training mode conscious practice within matches and repeated application so just combine all those factors and eventually you'll piece together all these options like this and you'll be able to pull off whatever you want to if you set your mind to it but you got to focus on it when you go into a match talk about what you want to do what technique today are you going to try to improve at then eventually you'll be doing the combos and doing the punishes you practice in training mode in no time i went for the wrong punish but you went for a punish that's progress exactly yeah being able to recognize the situation in a match is progress. That is very true. That is actually very true. You need to consider that as well. If I can say that was the situation I needed to look out for, and I recognized it in the heat of a moment, even if I let it slip that time, at least I'm mentally recognizing what I could have done in that moment. Just keep building on that. That is progress. You do have to consider that a, a small win. All right, everyone say hi to YouTube. Okay. Okay, say hi to YouTube. They'll say hi back in the comments, I'm sure.